In our last lesson, we talked about the triangle sum theorem. In this one, we're going to talk about exterior angles. And this, I think, is a shortcut. I really like this theorem. Let me show you what it means. I want to know what this angle is right here, B. With the only tool you have right now is the triangle sum theorem. So if you use that, you would add the 42 and the 38, and that turns out to be 80. And then we will subtract that from 180. And so then we know that this angle is 100. And this makes a straight line right here. So then you'd subtract 100 from 180 again, and you would come up with the exterior angle of 80. Now, here's the thing though. After doing this for who knows how long, somebody figured out that, hey, wait a minute. I didn't even really need the 100. It's right here. When you add these two angles together, you got 80, and this is 80. Well, what if that's just an accident, right? So let's move some stuff around and see if it still works. Well, see, that still worked. Now it's 70. 34 and 36 is 70. So let's try dragging this guy around. Ooh, move him out of the way. Look, look. I don't even need to know what this angle is. If I want to know what the angle is on this outside corner, outside the triangle, you just add these two together. Boom! Shortcut. Isn't that awesome? If you are keeping a notebook for this geometry class that as you go, this is what I would like for you to write down for today before we start doing the problems. This is called the exterior angle theorem. And what it means is that if you want to know what this exterior angle is on the outside of the triangle, you go to the farthest angles inside the triangle and you add them together. So even though things may move around a little bit, you always go to the far ones. You don't want to use the angle that's right next to it. All right, let's do problems. We've got an unknown angle up here. Right away, they're telling me what the exterior angle is. And they're telling me what one of the two angles are that add up to be this. So here's going, how we're going to do this. I'm going to call this x, make myself a little equation x plus 112 equals 144, subtract 112 from 144, and we get 32. Done pretty fast, right? Well, just to prove my point, we just did that using the exterior angle theorem. What if you forgot it? This is how you would do that problem. You would use the triangle sum theorem, but you'd have to start by trying to find this angle that's sitting right next to the 144. So you'll subtract that from 180, that's 36. Then now we know from the triangle sum theorem that all the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 as well. So let's make that equation. Combine like terms, subtract that 148 from both sides, and we get 32 degrees. This is 32 up here. The 36 was the one that was right next to it. When we use the exterior angles theorem, we didn't need to know what that angle was at all. So I personally like this one better, but you know, you get the right answer, you get the right answer. As long as it's not a free response where your teacher says you must use the exterior angle theorem, you can do it. I'm going to use the exterior angle theorem. Again, this is what I know. The 5x minus 11 plus the 8x minus 4 has to equal that 141. These two angles away from that exterior angle will always equal what this is. Once you have this written up, that's the geometry. Now the rest of this is an algebra. Let's combine like terms. 5x and 8x is 13x. The negative 11 and the negative 4 is negative 15. That is still equals 141. Add 15 to both sides. I got 156. So I got 13x equals 156. We are going to divide by 13 now. And we end up with x equals 12. The diagram looks a little different. The exterior angle is right now up here where the 15x minus 5, that's your exterior angle. These are the two that we're going to add together and set equal to that. So let's do that. 8x plus 15 plus 36 equals the exterior angle 15x minus 5. Algebra! I put, added the 15 and the 36 to get 51. That's all I did for this step. Right 
here. All right, now I've got variables on both sides. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But for fun today, I'm going to subtract the 15x from both sides. I usually would do the 8x, but if you've been following in my channel at all, you know I like to do the smaller x, but today I just kind of felt adventurous. So let's get a negative 7x plus 51 equals negative 5. By doing it this way, my x stays over here. Now we are going to subtract 51 from both sides. And we end up with negative 7x equals negative 56. Divide both sides by a negative 7. And we get x equal to 8. Let's see if you can do one. I'll give you a couple seconds to pause and try this one. And I'll be right back to show you the solution. Oh, but don't forget, you are looking for an angle, not just x. Go. So here's our exterior angle. We're going to need to add these two guys together. So 8x plus 5 plus 53 equals 4 plus 14x. That's the geometry. Boom. Now it's algebra. We're going to combine those constants on that one side. 5 plus 53 is 58. And now I'm going to subtract the 14x from both sides because that's just the mood I'm in today. And we end up with... Well, 8x minus 14x is negative 6. So that's negative 6x plus 58 equals, these 14x cancels out, so the 4 drops down. The next move is to subtract the 58, which I did really fast. Okay, now we have negative 6x equals negative 54. And we end up with x equals 9. And a bunch of students will stop here because that's a ton of work and it feels like you've got the answer. And you're not wrong. You're just not finished. They really wanted us to find the angle, actual angle measurement of QHG. QHG is the external angle. So you have to take this 9 and plug it in here for X. So let's do that. And we end up with... 130 degrees. Don't feel bad if you don't remember to do that. That's such a common mistake all humans make, even me, right? So just, you got to catch that. I'm just pointing it out to you. If this is something that you're going to be graded on, look for that. Now, speaking of things that get graded, I found this question on the released version of the New York Regents June 2025 geometry test. And look, it's just exactly like what we're doing. The language is a little scarier than the way I talk, but look at the diagram and you can get an idea of what this is. In triangle ABC below, AC is extended through C to D. So they're just saying they drew this line a little bit longer. Angle A is this, angle B is this, and angle C is this, and they put it in the diagram. So what they're asking for is for you to find ACB, A, C, B. Well, A, C, B is this angle right here. So you have to add those two together and set it equal to the 6x minus 23. So just to save a little time here, I'm going to add these two together in my head. You know you're going to put the 3x with the 4x. That's 7x, right? And the minus 22 with the negative 18. Well, 22 and 18 together are 40 and they're negative. So... Let's write this out. We now have 7x minus 40 equals the 6x minus 23, which is this exterior angle right here. In your notebook, if you're doing it, you might show some more work than I just did, but that's what I did. Same thing we've been doing this whole lesson. Now let's do some algebra. Let's subtract 6x from both sides. And we get x minus 40 equals negative 23. Now add 40 to both sides. And we're going to get x equals 17. That is not the answer. And if this is this was a free response question, so you got to be careful. They actually want to know what this angle is. Well, in order to get that angle, you got to know what the one is right next to it. I mean, you could stick the x into these two and subtract everything from 180, but that's double the work. Find this one. So we'll stick the 17 in for x, and we end up with 79. Also not the answer. 
you're just not finished. You're not wrong. Now subtract that one, that 79 from 180, and you're going to get 101. 101 plus 79 is 180 because these two make a straight line. If you like how I teach, would you please like, subscribe, comment, share this video so I can help other people. And I want you to check out the next lesson. Thank you so much. I will see you over there. Bye.